Coming up on the E, Gammon Down, we hang out with a Danish fat man who's well worth his bacon. Say hi to Lieback, Slovenia's answer to hail and pace. How Europe's scares are beating the snow shortage, exclusive pictures. It's going to be a fin day for Opus 3 as we follow them to Lapland. We check out prize parts and casting couches, it's the Blue Movie Oscars. And seconds out, find out why model boxer Gary Stretch is no Hollywood lightweight. Well, this is me. Oh. Introducing Master Fat Man, singer, eater, and all-round cosmic guy. The toast of Copenhagen. 16 and a half stone of 60s kitsch, 70s music, and 90s Danish pastry. Well, I don't drink myself, but uh, maybe you'd like a beer? Impressed by his capacity for ABBA, Boney M and Cakes, V.E. asked the fat man to show us around his city. A city of bakeries, health clubs and supermarkets. And to share his own very special philosophy on life. Well, this is my favourite supermarket. It's called Dahls Varehus and it's the best place for buying plastic things for cooking. Yeah, I'm looking for something uh, for this Liberace Memorial dinner I'm going to have tonight. But, um, but do you think Liberace was gay? <laughs> yeah, no, actually not. Uh, I think he was uh, maybe uh, a guy who, who was a little bit more interesting in dressing and in, uh, in uh, showing himself than other guy is. And uh, of course he likes small boys, but uh, I mean, that's a normal thing in music business. For the fat man, Copenhagen is the cultural center of disco, littered with monuments to the music gods of the 70s. Yes, this is, uh, this is Copenhagen, this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing here. Uh, and uh, what many people think is the Little Mermaid here. Uh, but that's not true, it's not the Little Mermaid. Uh, and I know this because I, I made it myself, actually. It's um, the lead singer of Boney M. But now, those very people that the fat man reveres look to him for inspiration. Yes, it is true. I am a fan of the fat man, and this is my statue to him. The only thing is he forgot to send me the check. <laughs> well, and now to my real passion in my life. One thing is music, but it's only a, a hobby to me. Cakes, that's my real passion. I mean, that's how I, I gain weight every day. This is our speciality. It's a sports cake. And so it's uh, crushed nougat inside and whipped cream. And it's uh, macrons in the bottom. And the, these are ca caramelized. It's the only cake I know which, uh, which I only can eat one piece of. Because it's so heavy, it's, uh, it's really um, a bomb. You know, sweetheart, we'll always be together. Well, this is my, my, my psychic and cosmic clinic. Uh, this is the place where I advise people who is uh, having problems about gaining weight. And uh, we have a typical example here. First of all, I will give him some, uh, some really nice and stylish shoes. And, uh, and uh, his, you can see here his uh, legs are very, very skinny. So uh, I will try to, to grease them in in some pig fat. And then uh, I will, uh, I will uh, put, uh, give him an, a diet to follow with uh, contains a lot of uh, fresh cream, fresh Danish cow. 
I'm not cycling myself because uh, I'm trying to gain weight and not lose weight. So, uh, so uh, I never do uh, anything that's very um, emotional. But uh, I like watching bicycling. I, I uh, sometimes I rent a whole girls' school class just to bicycle in front of me from one point to another. So But if there's one thing that means more to the fat man than anything else, it's the power and it's the glory that are Bjorn, Benny, Agneta and Annie Fried. I remember I was only four years old when uh, I saw the first ABBA video on television uh, and I was uh, a very, um, very uh, nasty little boy, uh, uh, not doing exactly what my parents told me. But after this um, video, I just changed. I, I actually saw the light or something like this. And then I decided to follow ABBA. And then I, on, on the year four, you have to remember this, I went to Sweden alone to watch some uh, ABBA concerts. And, uh, and uh, they took me around. So I've been actually living uh, together with ABBA for uh, 10, 11 years. And then I decided to do my own thing. The fat man plans to conquer the world in the future, but in the meantime, he's content with his kitsch, kicks, and Copenhagen. Well, thank you. You've been a lovely audience. I love you. Ah, oh, buenos dias. Did you know that one in three Spanish women do not have an active sex life? Not surprising, then, that 40% of them would like more sex. ¿Qué pasa, Paco? Forget the Pam door. For many, the centerpiece of this year's Cannes Festival was the hot door, where the cream of the porn world gathered to celebrate their industry and talk sex. I mean, she's a